So I work at Lush and when people come into Lush and they like, there are some things that I love the smell of when mm-hmm. people don't like it. I'm like, but you should. <laughs> Hey Forum, Manny back here with another video on the Cascade Sense Fragrance Station. And I can't believe I'm saying this, I'm back with Alex. I'm back! And we are here to look at some of my choice spring fragrances this year in 2019. Crazy part is, I know you're not necessarily into uh, greener or aromatic stuff. From what I recall, you typically like some of the more sweeter, warmer things. Yeah. And I yeah, can't I say I have that stuff here. Hmm. Interesting. The last one we did was fall, and I think I like loved all of them. That's probably like your season. Standard white girl, which I respect. It's, it's true. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited. Here we go, the first one. Okay. Hmm. It's very like what I expect a guy to wear, like a cologne. Like to me, it's, <laughs> it's gonna sound mean what I'm gonna say and people are gonna get offended, but like a basic good clone. That couldn't be closer to the truth, to be honest. Like to me, it's nothing super special, but I like it. Like to me, it's safe. All right. But I like it. So it's where nice. could you see a man wear that? Like I could see him wearing it every day, like every day to work. All right, without a doubt. And do you like it overall? Yeah, I do. So out of 10, what would you give that? Like a seven. Okay. Yeah, it's not blowing me away, but I don't dislike it. All right. It's nice. So the one we are talking about is this one right here. It's called Amber Puram by Prada. And Ooh, that one Prada. is known for its soapy vibe. So. For you to say that it's kind of, you know, the standard men's cologne kind of makes sense in a way that you're just going to smell super clean, yeah. super, I'm going to go get ready for work and be there with something like this. But you don't hate it. Yeah. Cool. All right. There you go. Oh. Whoa. What is that? I don't know if that's what like a hate that? it or love it. No, I like it. Whoa. I do like it. I just don't know what that what that is. Okay, does that smell like more casual to you, more upscale? More upscale. Okay. It's very different. No, it's really nice. I like it. It's fresh, but I want to say it's some kind of floral. I could be wrong though. I probably am wrong, but. About that though, where could you see someone wear that if it is upscale per se? Yeah, like a night out, like going out for a nice dinner or something. Hey. All right, okay. And out of 10, what would you give that? I'd give it a nine. I really like it. <laughs> I'm a lot nicer these days. I guess <laughs> than so. Than I used to be. You're not scathing. This is incredible. Because you've gotten me more into it, I think. So I, like, I'm actually wearing perfume today. What are you wearing? French Grey from Elizabeth and James. Yeah, which shout is my outs to Olsen Twins. Favorite. I love it. Awesome. Cool. No, I do. I really like this one. Wow, incredible. So. That is a 9 out of 10 for this one yeah. right here. It's called A Midsummer Dream by Roche oh. Parfums. It's supposed to be kind of like a romantic, foresty, enchanted kind of scent. Yeah. And I think they kind of execute mm -hmm. here. I do too. What are the notes? Rose de Mai. Oh but it also opens up kind of bright. But the main note here is Elami, which is a resin from a Filipino tree, believe it or not, where it's supposed to come off as more foresty, more herbaceous, oh. more arborous smelling. Hmm, I really like that one. Is it pricey? <laughs> well, I know they're all pricey, but like, is it pricey? This one is like, kill yourself pricey. <laughs> like, I'm, like for real. <laughs> That's great, nine out of 10. Okie dokes. Just say it. <laughs> I thought you were nicer, but it's all good. It reminds me of Axe. Okay. Oh my God. Hold on. I've been telling- I'm sorry. I've been telling my homeboy this for a minute now that this shit reminds me of Axe. Really? Dead okay. Ass. Okay, I'm glad because I didn't want to be super mean. It smells like Axe and that's why I don't like it. Like I'm triggered. I'm back to high school lockers. This is like why people disliked perfumes in general. Yeah, to me it's like, like back in the day when I didn't know, I'd be like, oh yeah, that's cologne. Like that's just meh. Nah. Yeah. But no, it's, it smells like Axe. That's what it reminds me of. And out of 10, what would you give this? Like a three. Like it's not, it's not a bad smell. It's just very triggering. It reminds me of high school. All right, I respect that. That's cool. No, don't worry. It's all good. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so the one we're talking about is called Himalaya by Creed. But deadass, I actually believe that this smells like Axe. I've mm -hmm. been saying it for a minute to people who I know in the community. I would actually rank this mainly because I genuinely like the scent. I just hate the fact that it costs $400. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's like one of those guilty pleasure scents for me, because like to me it's like so bad it's good, if that makes any sense. So characterized by various citrus and musks in here, I just think it's executed kind of cheaply. It's musky. It's just very musky. Hmm. All right. <laughs> Three out of ten. All right, moving on. Here we go. Great eater. Ooh. About that. I like this one. For real. Would you use that for yourself or someone else? Both. It's funny, like this smell reminds me of the hotel that I stayed in in New York. I don't know why, but the hotel smelled like this. And that's why I'm like, yeah, it smells so good because it reminds me of like a good memory. And I remember even saying when we walked into the hotel, it smells like perfume in here. I really, really like it. Okay, and with something like this, what could you see yourself wearing it for or someone else? I'd wear it and yeah, for someone else. To me, it's like an everyday. It's not like you're trying too hard. Yeah. So out of 10, what would you give that one? I'd give it an eight. <laughs> <laughs> now this is by a New York brand called Lolabo and it's called Gayak 10. That being said, this is actually an exclusive scent for their stores in Tokyo actually. Oh. But for you to say that it's from something in uh, New York is mm -hmm. actually pretty cool because a lot of people do wear their fragrances there, A, mm. and B, there's another scent from that brand, which I think kind of dries down like this, called Santal 33. That one's way more aggressive, but a lot of people in NY actually wear it to mm. the point that people call that scent, the scent of New York, which I think is incredible. So I don't think you're too far-fetched off right there. It smells exactly like that hotel. That's crazy. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh. To me, it's a female scent. It's feminine, but that doesn't mean it's strictly feminine. You can wear whatever you want to wear, but it's something I've smelled before. Again, I hate saying this, but like typical female perfume. There's nothing blowing my mind about it, mm. but it's, it's nice. About that though, what would you give it out of 10? Like a five. I'm pretty neutral about it. Okay. Not in the sense that I don't like the smell. It's just, it's not blowing me away. Totally, okay. Like I it's not that. something I would purchase, but I don't dislike it. Okay, so the one we are talking about is this one right here. It's called Spice Bomb Fresh by Victor and Rolf. Actually a fresher version of Spice Bomb, hence the namesake. But also in one of my also more recent videos, uh, my one friend Lily, she actually wears a Spice Bomb. And believe it or not, this is a men's line of fragrances. So for you to say that it is kind of feminine, yet my friend who is also a female actually wears it for herself. Huh. I respect that, that's cool. All right, cool, five out of 10, Spice Bomb Fresh. And last but not least, we have this fragrance right here. And what do you think of this one? It's very fresh. It's just very fresh, clean, natural. Even though it's quite obviously not natural, this could be someone's natural musk. Cause now that it's like drying down, it's kind of subtle. I like it, I like that a lot. Okay, all right. Out of 10, what would you actually give this? An eight. An eight, okay. I really like it, it's really nice. So this one right here is called Mojave Ghost by Byredo. And that one right there is actually characterized by this magnolia that gives it some freshness oh. in the opening, which is pretty cool. But as far as how it wears on you, it does wear musky. There's mm. this vegetal edge of a musk here called Ambrette, and it is synthetic as hell in here. But if you're gonna get it off someone with their skin chemistry, it's gonna feel kind of like their natural musk anyway, yeah. but kind of enhanced in a good way. So there you go, eight out of 10, Mojave Ghost by Byredo. That being said, I can't believe we're gonna say this. Nine out of 10, A Midsummer Dream by Roja Parfums. <laughs> this is your winner. Yeah, it's nice. It's pretty bougie. It's bougie. Totally. <laughs> it's very luxurious, but it smells luxurious too. Like it just matches. So you'd want to go on a date wearing that or someone else wearing it? Ooh, I'd want to wear it. Okay, I can respect yeah. that. Yeah. I mean, it would be really nice if I was with someone and they were wearing it, but I want to wear it. It's mine. Okay, fair play. <laughs> but it's weird because a lot of the stuff I have here is rather gender neutral, despite even being marketed towards men. Mm. But then there's stuff like this, for example, that is unisex that you said smells like. Sex. She said the A word. I know people are going to be offended. I don't care, but I do. <laughs> That's fine. 
it's all good but yeah like that's about it can't say we have anything else for you stay tuned for my upcoming spring videos regarding some new scents but for now this is alex thank you so much for doing this i really appreciate it anytime do you have anything else you want to say i don't think so all right killed it Mm. All right, well, 500 likes and a random subscriber in the comments gets an assorted niche fragrance sample pack. Ooh. So please do like, subscribe, and comment, especially if you want to see Alex back here. But until then, I think that about does it for us. So thanks again for watching. Take care. Peace out. Bye. See ya. Wear your fragrances.